easy. Why? They're just so cooperative. Yeah. Um, what was the most important thing for you about tonight? Um, you know, th having a game set. Um, you know, you go to the live VPs, that's one thing, but game setting, uh, getting out there, feeling good. Um, so that, that was the most important thing. And how did you feel? Felt really good. Um, you know, it's you know still a work in progress, like I said, location. Just left a couple fastballs up, but slider was good, changeup was good. Um, you know, and it's, like I said, it's always a work in progress. I mean, when I'm fully healthy, I'm constantly working on things. So it's just I'll try to eliminate misses over the heart of the plate. And, um, you know, that's going to take a little bit of time. And hopefully I can get that ironed out here. And, um, make better pitches when I'm back with the team. <laughs> when will you know that everything's OK, arm-wise, et cetera, tomorrow morning? Does it take a little longer than that? I mean, I, that was what, I don't know how many pitches I ended up throwing. But in the lives, I was about the same velocity and three up. So um, you know, everything feels really good right now. So we'll just see how it responds tomorrow. So did you make an adjustment after the first two guys, or did you get away with stuff? Oh, I just started throwing more off speed. Like I knew it was going to be. You know, I, I want to try to throw my fastball, but you know, if you leave one, a lot of swings. Let's just say that. So, you know, it's. I think probably most guys that I'm facing are going to hunt the fastball, and that happens at every level. So, um, you know, once I that second inning, I located a couple of fastballs to start at bats. So that's more like how I throw the ball. You know, that might have been a little amped up early on, and left a couple in the middle, and they hit those. You know, the one double, and then the single that drew in that run. Did you just? How many changes? Like, go ahead. How many changes did you throw? Two or three. Did you strike out the first guy in the second inning with that a change up? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was a slider. It was 90 miles an hour. I think it was a slider. Okay. Was, the, the, the change up was because it looked the like change up was close to the same velocity. It's yeah, just they both the looked about like 89 to 90. Yeah. yeah. It just depends on which way it's going. Slider's okay. going to my left. Change up's going to my right. The competitor in you, when the, when you get ahead of the, the second hitter, O2, and he does end up hitting the ball to right center, like what is what, what goes through the competitor's mind? Yeah, that was frustrating. <laughs> um, but like you know, I was trying to go fastball up like a little bit more than that, and you know, I probably looking back, I could have buried a slider and probably had an out, but I wanted to try to you know throw my fastball up through the zone. It just didn't work. So that's going to be part of this. You know, you're still trying to make the pitches you need to make. Like I said, I could go out and throw all sliders and probably have decent uh, success, but um, it's trying to throw everything. Like I threw a couple changeups that I probably wouldn't throw just to throw them, um, you know, because I didn't want to be just fastball slider today. How important is it to you to get on a big league mound at least a few times before this season? Yeah, it's very important. Um, you know, that way, you know, you can treat the off season a little bit more normal. You know, you have thrown a little bit and then, you know, start treat it normal and start training and you know if you don't I feel like if I don't get out there it's going to feel like I've been rehabbing for you know the whole you know all that time through whatever that is almost a year and a half or whatever it is yeah mm -hmm. it's important to close the door on that yeah right? like hey you got out there you you threw the ball you responded well like now you can train like a normal off season and you don't it'd be more of a mindset thing and you don't feel like you're in that rehab mode the whole time do you know what do you know if you'll have a on five days again, or you every fifth day, or you know, um, I'm not sure. Okay. I know I had today. <laughs> How many of these do you think you'll need? I'm not. I mean, I don't think we've got that far yet. It was, you know, one step at a time. Make sure everything, you know, like I said, I bounce back tomorrow, and you know, then we'll come up with a plan from there. Like you were loose, you jumped with, you joked a little bit with the umpire. Did that surprise you at all? That you know, you just felt that comfortable after being away for that long? I actually asked him where he had that <laughs> second pitch. I don't know if I was really joking there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you know, it, I mean, once you get out there, you, you're competing. You know, that's what we love to do. Um, you know, I've missed a year of it, and uh, you know, want to be out there, and this is the first step to that. So, uh, you know, that's what I was asking him where that pitch was. Okay. So, <laughs> Well, that's the competitor, that. yeah. This yeah. is off topic, but you rehabbed some of Kumar Rocker. What did you see from him during that process? Um, you know, he was, it was fun to be around him. You know, great work, work ethic. Um, we were at TMI together. Um, you know, he was in there, um, you know, getting after it. And, you know, it, it's showing now, with, you know, the, how he's throwing the baseball. So, um, you know, that like, like we I said, I had been through this before, and, and that was his first one. But watching him, putting in the work, and Everything he was doing, it was fun to watch, and you know, you know, I wish the best for him. You try throwing curveballs out there next time. 
Um, you know, I don't throw my curveball a whole lot. That'll be, I think, with looking at, you know, kind of the short window I have right now, like, I'm going to try to get my top three pitches to where I need them to be, and then we can work on the curveball in the offseason. Like, the goal is to get out there and pitch, and, you know, those are the three that I'm going to try to get outs with. So, um, we'll just have to see. What about the knuckleball? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, but for accounting purposes, we can just basically say you felt like you threw two or three changeups, and the rest were four sliders. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think, it might have been four changeups, because one of them looked like a slider because I absolutely yanked it in the okay. other batter's box. <laughs> that was the one in the dirt. Yeah, yeah, the one I bounced okay. to. How about we say a handful of changeups? Handful. There you go. <laughs> Jake, you, you threw 29 nine, 45 next time. Thereabouts. You're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. You know, I don't. It just, I don't know what the jumps are. So, what did I throw? Twenty nine. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I would think maybe fifteen is what the jumps are, right? About. Yeah, like spring training. Yeah, yeah three forty five. Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly haven't asked. But the, yeah, that's what we did in the live BPs. Two of them we do. We went forty five, forty five. And I don't know. I think that kind of the process maybe tapers down a little bit, then builds back up. I'm not exactly sure. What's red you get for the, the guys in the clubhouse? What's what? What's red did you get for the guys? Uh, I think it was Capital Grill. Ooh. Lobster and steak, so. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Any <laughs> luck over? <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah,